Hey guys, what's going on? Ben here with EDC Blades. Thanks for joining me. I hope you're doing well. Uh, before I get started, please help the channel out by hitting the like and subscribe button. It really helps the channel grow. I really appreciate it. As you can see in the title, today's video is going to be five books that I highly recommend. These are basically five books that I've learned from, uh, I've, I've gotten motivation or inspiration from, and just, you know, lessons in life that, that have helped me out. Uh, I, I end up usually lending these out or buying new copies for people as gifts, you know, people who are getting out of the military or newlyweds, you know, with financial information. All right, to get started, the first one is House to House by De David Bellavia. This guy got the uh, Medal of Honor for his actions in Iraq. Uh, what really drew me to this book was his accountability or the accounts that happened to him while he was deployed in combat. And a lot of it was relatable. You know, with just, uh, you know, facing your fears, joking around with guys to help you face those fears, uh, just, you know, brotherhood. And I, I think David did a really good job of uh, honoring his, his brothers in combat and, you know, showing everybody's sacrifice, not just his own, uh, while he was, you know, on his deployment and, and, and his role as a leader. Uh, definitely a great book. Uh, David Bellavia, also from Western New York, just like me. So, uh you know, definitely a cool guy to look up to and uh, a book to read, basically about his deployment and how he got his Medal of Honor. Okay, the second book, I think this one might be on pretty much everybody's list, is Can't Hurt Me by David Goggins. Um, again, I bought this book probably five or six times and I ended up lending them out or buying them for other people, like I said, but I actually had to go out and buy this one because... Uh, the one I had with all my notes in it, I lent to a guy, he ended up moving to Florida. Uh, but, you know what, hey, can't hurt me, right? Uh, David Goggins, another really cool guy, also from Western New York. Um, he was a SEAL, you know, really inspirational. Uh, w one of the things I really love about David Goggins is his attitude, his... He's not trying to motivate you, he's trying to enlighten you at where you are in your process. And... He doesn't hold back. He doesn't sugarcoat anything. A lot of the stuff in here is mean and and rude, but eye-opening. Um, definitely worth a read. You know, a lot of people have excuses. I swear to, if I ever meet David Goggins, I, I fear what he will tell me. And I fear that I will come up with an excuse and he will set me straight. Um... Great book, very motivational, you know, the things that your body can go through if you'll let it, if you'll just let, let your mind loose and just let your body take control and, and have will to go on and push yourself. Great book, great motivational book, and I, one, one that I highly recommend. He has another book that just came out. I haven't read it yet, but I'm sure it's just as good. Um, so the next one is a little different. It's uh, Everyday Millionaire by Chris Hogan. I got into finance a couple years ago. Wow, gosh, probably almost almost 10 years ago now. And, you know, I didn't go to college. I um, barely got through high school. I, got, I mean, I did all right. So with this one, you know, I actually got made fun of a lot for reading books like this. Um, because people would say, oh, what do you think you're going to do? You're going to be a millionaire someday? Oh, you know, it, and if people like that who, because they don't think they can ever be a, a millionaire or successful or in shape or anything like that, they think nobody else can. So they hold you back. They don't hold you back. They, tr they try to hold you back. With this book, so they, they did interviews basically or polls with 10,000 millionaires in America to, to basically get the secret recipe for how they became millionaires. And, and there's really no secret. Uh, most of these people worked hard, saved money, put into their retirement funds. Uh, if you don't know Chris Hogan, he's, he works with uh, Dave Ramsey and the Seven Baby Steps uh, to Financial Freedom. Uh, I've used those steps. I don't, I don't follow them you know, to the level that I probably should, but um, a great way to get out of debt, a great way to Again, help you realize what you're doing wrong or could be doing better. And, uh, you know, again, this, this book goes over basically a ton of scenarios where 
people who didn't make a lot of money over time were able to, you know, create generational wealth. So, you know, their children are going to be better off. Their grandchildren are going to be better off. And, you know, basically just sacrificing now so that you can have it later. And yes, I know there's people out there that are going to say, you know, you, you might die tomorrow and all these other things. But, you know, if you're, if you're really interested in finance and, and you're interested in, in becoming financially independent, um, definitely a good read. Chris Hogan, if you watch him on YouTube, great voice, cool guy. Uh, a great book to help you on your way to financial freedom. All right, so the fourth book on my list, another kind of uh, random one. This one's called The Excommunicated Warrior by Nick Comalazzos. Um, I, st I started watching Nick Comalazzos on YouTube, started following his channel, mostly because he was doing videos on cool guy gear, you know, everyday carry, uh, situational awareness, stuff like that, stuff you really need to know if you're going to be carrying stuff, you know, if you're going to be carrying gear every day. He put out a lot of great content, again, with, you know, uh, motivation and health. The book is about the seven stages of transition. Um, so basically, he uses this book as a vessel to help people transitioning through life. He was a MARSOC Marine, so high-speed Marine. Uh, you know, tons of deployments, tons of uh, trainings, and just being high speed for so long and then getting out. And then all of a sudden, you know, how, how do you go from military life to civilian life? How do you go from being a high speed, you know, warrior responsible for all sorts of equipment and millions of dollars of gear and, and all sorts of stuff like that? And then all of a sudden you're, you know, nobody and you have no nobody telling you what you're supposed to be doing and... So the transition from military to civilian life, you know, he says in here, you, he kind of wants people to use this book for, you know, if you're going through a divorce or new jobs, stuff like that, moving. Um, but mostly it, it relates for guys getting out of the military or military. I've bought this book for a couple guys I've known, uh, a couple of my brothers who got out of the military and, uh, you know, I just, just a little help. Uh, with the transition, you know, you're not the only person going through the, the hurt and the, uh, what's he call it, the uh, the bowl of bad emotions. You know, we all need a little motivation, a little inspiration, and uh, Nick really does a great job with this book in uh, trying to motivate people and by telling his story and, you know, how he got through it and how you can also get through it. So the last book on my list is Meditations by Marcus Aurelius. Um, you'll remember him as the king from Gladiator. I actually started reading this book because I saw it on somebody else's list. And it's, it's Old English, or it's translated to Old English. So it's, it's not a quick read by any means. You take your time with it, get through it. But basically, uh, Marcus Aurelius was raised uh, to believe in Stoicism. So you're not, you know, try, you're trying to get closer to nature, less possessions, less stress in life due to wealth or having money or having property that, that you then have more work to do because you have the property. Uh, you know, he believes he's got a ton of great um, quotes in here. And again, most of it is like it's depending on your situation. When I read this, I, I hated my job. I hated the people I worked with. I worked in a jail and, and, and I got, I made the comments too, but they were always, well, what else are you going to do? You know, you can't get another job. What else, you know, there's nothing better out there. This is such an easy job. You know, why would you not want to work here? There's a lot of stuff in here about like mental health. Like why, why suffer, uh, something you, you find no joy in when you could kind of sacrifice your your income or your your possessions in life and have an easier life not an easier life but a more enjoyable life so there's stuff in here about you know instead of working working in an environment or at a job that you hate or despise or because you need money um, basically getting rid of some stuff not having possessions own you and and you can kind of Find a job that's more enjoyable, but you know covers your costs and and lets you live a life that you find more desirable. 
a lot of great stuff in here. Meditations, again, by Marcus Aurelius. Um, a lot of great stuff in this book. Definitely worth spending a couple hours or a couple days or weeks even going through it and just, just finding some just finding some inspirational stuff to, to help you get through your, your life. So these are basically five books that will help you realize that you're not alone on your journey and there's other people who are going through the exact same journey and who have come out the other side successful. I know it's a little different than the everyday carry stuff that I usually talk about, but you know, I just figure I get the information out there. As always, I appreciate your guys' time. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons. Uh, if you have anything you'd want to add or if you've read these books and, and you want to put some information out there, please let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you guys are thinking. Again, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a great day.